Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tatis Tuesday. It's a very good excuse to open some 2019 product, which is just an awesome product with Tatis Jr. rookie cards in there, Vladdy Jr. rookie cards in there, Pete Alonzo, Aloy Jimenez, a whole bunch of other guys, Patrick Wisdom, uh, Austin Riley, and so on and so forth. So today we're opening eight, yes, eight boxes of 2019 Topps Chrome Update. These are mega boxes back in the day. And I think it was November of 2019 these came out. Early November, they were $19.99. I believe this was a Target exclusive back then. And nowadays, these boxes go for about $150 a piece on eBay as uh, the rookies in this class are just unbelievable. So we're going to open these eight boxes up and see what we can find. We might find some autographs. Maybe we'll find a Super Fracture, which would be pretty awesome. Maybe some colored parallels along the way. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. Hope everybody's having a very nice Tuesday as we take a look into these boxes looking for Fernando Tatis Jr. amongst others. Now, Tatis is on the intro list right now, but I just read an article. It's kind of interesting. Tatis, who, as you know, is a shortstop, is planning to come back soon as an outfielder, which is pretty interesting. Uh, he's got that shoulder issue, and instead of having surgery, aren't they going to try to delay that surgery until the offseason and prevent the wear and tear of making those throws and diving and all that stuff in the infield? And uh, he's going to try some outfield, which will be much less strenuous on his shoulders. So we might see Tatis back soon. I do believe he is the favorite for the National League most valuable player with his 31 home runs. But we're getting into this right now. Wesley's up first. Wesley's a Patreon member along with the other seven members in this break. If you'd like to participate in any of our videos like this one or our case breaks, check us out on Patreon. It's only $3 per month. And we have a pretty big break tomorrow coming up. It's Allen and Ginter, which, uh, as you know, Allen and Ginter is always a fun one. There's rip cards, and we will be ripping almost all the rip cards. Upon sign-ups in the sign-up sheet, I said, if you don't want me to rip your rip cards, if you get one, make sure you note that upon signing up. And only one person noted that. So almost everyone, uh, every single rip card we pull will be ripped open and we might find some really cool stuff in there so check us out tomorrow for alan and ginter and now let's check out what we can find for wesley in this first box i've got this bum thumb so hopefully it's not gonna kind of uh prohibit me from opening packs too easily but anyway let's see what we've got we've got cj crone leading things off then we've got adam ottavino and i just love chrome so much by the way tops chrome for 2021 will be coming out soon there's Carter Keyboom, rookie card. It's a rookie debut. Now there's a nice Kershaw Refractor. The Ferdinand Tatis is a rookie debut in this set as well. It's still pretty valuable. There's Mike Trout, all-star game card, Josh Bell. We've got Matt Chapman. There's Shane Bieber with his all-star game MVP award. Griffin Canning, rookie debut. Nicky Lopez, who's in the big leagues now. The family business. Griffey. And there's Domingo Santana. Josh Donaldson still around and doing good things. Corbin Martin, rookie card, rookie debut. Nolan Arenado, Christian Yellis. Nothing crazy yet in this box. Hope we can find an autograph. There's Keston here, a rookie card. Thyro Estrada, Carter Keyboom, regular rookie. Edwin Diaz, uh, Dallas Keuchel. And unfortunately, the first box. Good thing it's not just a one-box break today, guys, because that first box did not really do it for us. No top-notch rookie whatsoever. In case you're wondering what the odds are of finding an autograph, which, by the way, you see a Pete Alonso auto right there, the odds of finding an autograph are going to be 1 in 40. So that's roughly 1 in every... Is there 8 packs in there? I think it's 5 boxes if there's 8 packs in here, right? Let's see. Um, it says it's somewhere on the box. We could probably just pull them out and see. I think there's actually seven packs here. So roughly one in every six boxes will have an autograph. Timothy's up next. Let's see what we can find for Timothy in spot number two. Looking for the Tatis. I hope we find one today. That's the goal. Otherwise, um, that wouldn't be a Tatis Tuesday without finding a bunch of Tatises. That's why I want to do a whole bunch of these boxes. That's why we did eight of them. All right, here we go with box number two, pack number three. I figure we'll just do it this way. It'll make it a little bit easier to go through the cards. Since there's only four cards per pack, that's how all Chrome 
cards are, are Chrome packs. Which, by the way, I think the release date on Topps Chrome is August 20th. I do have some orders in. And look at this. Holy cow, guys. Did you see that bottom card? It's going to be a great numbered parallel. If you didn't see it, I'll save the suspense for just a few minutes. It's going to be a top-notch rookie parallel. And I'm hoping it's going to be autographed, which could be worth hundreds of dollars. There's Keston Hira. Spencer Turnbull. Rookie card. So, Timothy, you're going to get a huge hit here coming up. Steve Carlton. Thyro Estrada again. Carter Keeboom once again. Edwin Diaz once again as well. Kind of a repeat pack right there. There's a David Dahl. All-star game card. Keston here. A bunch of repeats. Josh Donaldson again. Corbin Martin. Almost exactly the same box as the last one, except for what we've got coming up for you in this last pack. Look at this. Here it comes. It is going to be a green numbered out of 99 Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card, rookie debut. That is an awesome card right there. As I almost drop it, that would be just absolutely awful. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card, rookie debut. I wasn't expecting to really find. I was expecting to find that card, but maybe not a, a numbered parallel. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this card goes for. 2019 Topps Chrome Update, Guerrero out of 99 green. And let's look up some comps right now on eBay. Um, I do see his, his base rookie out of 99 is quite a valuable card for sure. The rookie debuts are usually worth about half as much. And I'm going to go ahead and cheat and look at the card number on the back. 58. So, Timothy, congratulations on this one. If I do get a price on it soon, I'll let you know. Don't like to keep everyone waiting around forever. Looks like there's no exact matches found, which is pretty awesome. The base card that's not numbered goes for $11. Looks like we might have to dig down a little deeper here and go to some advanced... Um, Advanced, uh, what do we call it? Filters is the word I'm looking for. As we go into spot number three, this is for Ryan Fogel. All right, so here's what I just found looking at recently sold. One that was not, take a look at this, guys. One that was not graded right here. You can see it's just in a one touch. Sold for $250. So we just pulled a $250 card. A PSA 10 went for 500 of that same exact card. So the rookie debut, $250 sold. That is a huge hit right there. That's why people like these boxes. Congratulations on that amazing card right there. $250. Bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Timothy, big W for you today. Next up, let's see if we can put another W on the board for Ryan Fogel. Now, if you're wondering what the Tatis goes for, well, the base Tatis in a PSA 10, which, by the way, it's a lot easier to get PSA 10s with chrome stock than it is just regular stock. The cards kind of are a little bit thicker. And um, I mean, if you send in a card fresh out of a pack, you're pretty much guaranteed to get a 9 or a 10, hopefully, on any chrome card that's fresh out of the pack, unless it maybe was rattling around at the bottom corner of the box. But a PSA 10 Tatis goes for about 150 right now, which is not too bad. And a lot of people do prefer the rookie debut Fernando Tatis rookie card over his base rookie, which he does have a Chrome rookie as well. And the base Chrome set, this is the update set. Um, that one is landscape. But people do like that vertical uh, design with him swinging the bat. So here we go. Ryan Fogel's up right now. Let's see if we can find one for you as well. There's a Kevin Biggio. Keston here has been everywhere so far throughout this box. Steve Carlton once again. Robbie Cano. And I feel like every box has had a Dallas Keuchel. There's a Roger Clemens family business. And I think every box has had a Keston here. Too bad that isn't the card we're after. We have a Carter Keeboom, which every box has had one of him as well. We've Oh, guys. We've got a gold coming up. Could it be another Vladdy? You've got to be kidding me! It is another Vladdy! And it is a gold autograph for Ryan Fogel! That just blew the $250 out of 99 green out of the water! Check this card out! Holy cow! Vladimir Guerrero Jr. autographed gold parallel out of, I think it's going to be 50 Holy, man, I, 
for, I don't know, what can we call this besides uh, Tatis Tuesday um, that, that has something to do with Vladdy because it's been all about Vladdy today. Let's take a closer look at the card. We do have a one touch available sitting nearby just in case this would have happened. Luckily, I just opened the pen box about a week ago, so this is here, ready to go. And we're going to get this one one touched up immediately because uh, in a PSA 10, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just toss out a number here. Of I'm hoping for a grand on this card. Let's look at some comps and see what it goes for now that the card is all taken care of with this little soft sleeve over the surface. It's in the one touch. All protected. Ryan, a huge hit right there. All right, so I'm already on recently sold. So let's just make this easy and type in out of 50 auto. We have ourselves, if we take a look here, three sales of this card. There's not many. There's only 50 of these total cards. We have one that sold for $1,000 with the best offer on it. $900 of the best offer, and one with bids that sold for $712, and that was only a PSA 9. So if you have yourself a PSA 10 here, which you may, Ryan, um, these other cards weren't graded, I would not be surprised if that card is worth well over $1,000. Um, if a PSA 9 sold for $712, you could probably guarantee that card might be about a $2,000 card. There's one other card listed right now on eBay. And um, you can see it right here. It is $1,199. So you have yourself a $1,000 card. And we're only three boxes in. I love Topps Chrome Update. And um, I can't believe I've just had these sitting on my shelf for years. <laughs> and I should have just opened it for myself, I guess. That's the way it goes. But I'm glad that one of my Patreon members got a Vlad. Look at this beautiful card. Vlad Jr. out of 50. I don't know. You couldn't have written a better script. Justin's up next. Let's see what we can find for you, Justin. Spot number four. We already have a $1,000 and a $250 card on the board. Let's see if we can find something for Justin. On this Tatis Tuesday, Vlad Jr. is climbing the ranks in the home run um, race. He's slowly gaining ground on Otani. Last time I checked earlier today, Vlad had 35 home runs. And there's Keston here, who's in every single box, of course. And uh, Otani's sitting at 37, so that race is tightening up a little bit. I'll tell you what, if Vladdy gets hot here and takes the home run lead away from Otani and also leads the league in RBIs, he's falling back a little bit in batting average. He's hitting about 318. A little, um, I don't know, 15 points or so behind Michael Brantley. Could you imagine if he wins the Triple Crown? I mean, if he wins the Triple Crown, the still give it to Otani. Yeah, that really makes it tough. Let's see what we have for Justin right now. There's only, was it 28 cards in here? 28 cards per box. It seems like Robinson Cano's in every box as well, along with Keston here, which kind of might be good because so far these boxes have been absolutely amazing. There's Keyboom, who comes in every box, it seems like. David Dahl, Keston here, as expected right on cue with Josh Donaldson. I have no idea why these are all the same cards. Let's see if we can Steve Carlton inserts been in every box as well. And unfortunately for Justin, that one did not have one of the big time autos. Just a bunch of repeat cards there. Let's go into box number five. Pull this one down and see what we can find for Travis. Again, check us out tomorrow. We'll have an Allen and Ginter preview video along with a nice, probably like five hour live stream of Allen and Ginter. If I get them early, I'm thinking about maybe splitting it up and doing a matinee, maybe doing like one or two cases early so we don't have to go too, too late into the night. Um, that's a possibility, but um, you never know. Sometimes they show up at uh, like 10 a.m. Sometimes they show up at like 7 p.m., which is really annoying when that happens. Also, Luminaries is coming up. Get out of here, guys. Did you just see what card that was on the back? Would you believe it's another numbered Vladdy? What was I even just talking about? Um, Luminaries is coming out tomorrow as well. I'm going to probably save that one for a Thursday video. Um... Those were like $400 per box. It's one card per box. It's super high end. Also on Thursday, we'll have 
from a sealed case cello boxes of 1990 tops. They're authenticated sealed boxes from a sealed case, 1990 tops, and we'll be looking for the Frank Thomas No Name on front on Thursday. So hopefully you'll join us for that. And <laughs> I think that Vladdy may be another autograph, guys. Do you see that stock? That doesn't look normal. All right, here we go. Travis, we've got Pete Alonso, rookie card at the top, which is a very nice one, all-star game rookie card. And here it comes. Oh, there he is. Fernando Tatis Jr., rookie debut. Like I said, this is a $150 card. In a PSA 10, clearly it's going to get at least a PSA 9 right out of the pack. So, Travis, congratulations on that one. And I'm not even like... That's not even the card I'm most excited about. There's a purple Vladdy coming up, guys. And it could be autographed again. It is a purple Vladdy. And there it is. <laughs> so we've had an out of 99 Vladdy, which is a $250 card. We had a $1,000 gold Vladdy autographed. And now we have a... We're just kind of uh, just going to complete the rainbow here. Vladdy's with these boxes. This is, this is crazy. You... You see, how many parallels have we pulled? I think it's been three. There's been three colored parallels pulled out of these five boxes. What are the odds that every single parallel would be a Vladimir Guerrero Jr.? The same exact card? Probably, like, honestly, like one in a million. <laughs> I, uh, this one, by the way, is numbered out of, I think it's 175. It is a purple parallel. I'll show you the back. Uh, 53 out of 175. I'm going to guess probably at least $100 on this one. Let's go ahead and run it on eBay. I can see that it uh, somebody has it listed for $225. I don't think it's they're going to get that price just because of an out of 99 is about a $250 car. Let's try to drill down just a little bit and look at recently sold. I see that this card in the PSA 10 sold for $330. And um, man... People love this this card. People trying to complete the rainbow because guess what? This card also sold. You can see it's not graded for $250 right there, which is uh, crazy stuff. So, man, we have two, two $250 cards. The green's probably more like a $300 card if you think about it now with that comp on there. Um, and we're not done yet. We have three boxes left to go on this episode of Tatis Tuesday. Tatis being overshadowed by Vlad Jr. Pretty, uh, pretty largely tonight. And, um, you know, just like in the major leagues this season, Vladdy was having a kind of a better season. Tatis was hurt there, came back. Tatis uh, really it has really great stats if you really take a look at it. I think his... Uh, his percentage is like his slugging percentage is a little bit better than Vladdy's. Maybe not by much. His home runs per at bat is probably a little bit better. Maybe not by much. But uh, Skinner Foods is up right now. Let's see if Tatis can make a comeback here. <laughs> or maybe we'll just go ahead and complete the rainbow. How about a Super Fractor Vlad Jr. coming up next? That would be crazy. Um, but this has been a crazy video so far. We've got Skinner Foods right now, and then we have Jack Holland, then Tom Lynch. So, guys, once again, if you'd like to participate in any of our box openings or case breaks, check us out on Patreon. There's a link down in the description of this video. If you sign up there, uh, use that link, and it'll take you to my page. Sign up. It's $3 per month. You can pay with PayPal or a credit card, and uh, it will auto-renew on the first of every month. And Unless you cancel, you can cancel it at any time. Also have some exclusive videos there. I think we've already posted three exclusive videos this month, and I've got another one coming up. There's Nicky Lopez, who's in every single box, which I guess isn't a bad thing because these boxes have been great. Mike Trout and Josh Bell for the second time. There's Hank Aaron, one of the all-time greats. Nick Senzel, rookie. Michael Chavis, rookie, who's now with the Pirates. Pedro Avila. Haven't seen the Aloy Jimenez yet. There's a rookie debut, Pete Alonso. That's a nice card. I guess we'll put that one on top. Luisa Rice. Bregman and Walker Bueller, unfortunately, in this pack, there is not going to be any of those big guys, the Vladdy or the Tatis. All right, box number seven. Two boxes left. Jack is up right now. Jack will also be giving it a go in the throwback Thursday of 1990 tops. Looking for Frank Thomas, no name on front. What else do we have coming up? I've got these boxes. I put these on sale today. I've got these... Um, 
Tops Update boxes. We will be opening those up on Sunday for a show. Hey Sunday, looking for the show. Hey Otani rookie card. Hopefully in a parallel, which would just be worth tons and tons of money. Uh, Saturday showdown is back this week. I'll be doing a case of Absolute Panini Absolute, which isn't a huge case. So I think I'm just going to do that one as a standalone one instead of doing a live stream. Alan and Ginter is not really a good choice for. Um, the Saturday show now. Not a whole lot of numbered cards in Allen and Ginter, as you might recall. So I think we'll kind of clear out that absolute case off my inventory list. All right, let's see what we can find for Jack in spot number seven. Here we go. There's Michael Brantley, who's, I believe, still leading the league in hitting. Michael Chavis. A Nick Senzel. Very nice Prism Refractor card right there. Sean Anderson, Austin Riley, that's a good one. Rookie card, Tim Raines, Edwin Encarnacion. And look who it is. It is the Vladimir Guerrero rookie card. So that's a nice one right there. We'll take a look at that one again in a second. He does not have a um, rookie in the Chrome set. For a second there, I thought that was going to be the Tatis to go with it. Um, he does have a rookie card in Series 2, but he was not featured in the base Chrome set. So a Vladdy, um, a base Vladdy and a PSA 10. Now the Tatis, like I told you, goes for 150 This is card number 21. I believe this one might beat the uh, beat that Tatis. Let's see here. Um, looks like a PSA... No, that's with an auto on it. PSA 10 goes for about 100 so the Tatis still beats this card. I feel like this is kind of an undervalued card. I'm looking at sales of a PSA 9 for like 35 bucks. So it looks like I know what I'll be buying tonight for my PSA pickup of the day. It's going to be this exact card and probably like a PSA 9. Jack, congratulations on that one. Next, we have Tom Lynch. She's our final contestant here on this Tatis Tuesday. Or she, uh, Toronto Tuesday, I guess we could call it for, for Vladdy. have to maybe think of an alternate name. If you have any good ones, let me know in the comments section. Some of you guys are way more creative than I am when it comes to wordplay. All right, Tom, best of luck to you. Let's see what we can find. Got about a $1,000 card, probably a $300 card for the out of 99, a $250 card. All Vladdy's, same exact rookie debut card, which is pretty crazy. Let's see if we can do it one more time on our way out the door. Hope everybody's had a very, very nice Tuesday. I've been busy all day. If you're wondering what I've been up to, I've been working on that $51 tier. Those will all be shipping out tomorrow, what's left of them. I shipped all the ones that had breaks that went with them today. It always takes a little bit longer to do the ones with the breaks because every single box is like a custom box. Got to make it up. Each box is a one of one. The ones that don't have breaks go a little bit faster. You can do it like a uh, factory-style assembly line. But anyway, here we go. Shane Bieber leads things off. Last box of the night, Nicky Lopez again. There's Josh Donaldson again. Carl Yastrzemski, Nolan Arenado. Keston Hira, who's been in here about six times to the eight boxes. Carter Keyboom. Not really a good sign when you see these players in here because... Um, I think whenever we see them, we don't find the Tatis or the Vladdy. We do find some Keston Hears in that last box, but Vladdy steals the show today with uh, three parallel rookie debuts. One of them, just an immaculate gold out of 50 autograph. I cannot believe this card. How about that one? So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope that you will please hit that thumbs up button on the video. Also, please subscribe if you haven't. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. Would love to have you along for all of our videos. We post every single day. And um, make sure you tap that notification bell as well so that whenever we do post a video, you'll get a notification via the YouTube app. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday. And I'll see you all tomorrow for an Allen and Ginter New release preview video and a probably like a five-hour live stream tomorrow night of Alan and Ginter. Good night, everybody.